In this global world, more and more companies are collaborating with each other. Not only they are talking with each other through email and phone, they are also discussing and collecting their data and then they are working on a unified product or idea to not only offer the improvement to an existing product or service or to build a new service with their partners. So collaboration is the key these days. There is a concept called as data clean rooms. Data clean rooms enable multiple companies to analyze their collective data in a private environment. So the idea is that companies are collaborating with each other and sharing that data in a clean room without giving that data to their partners. AWS Clean Rooms is a managed service for data clean rooms. In other words, AWS Clean Rooms is an analytics service for AWS applications that helps companies and organizations and their partners to more easily and securely analyze and collaborate on their collective data sets without sharing or copying each other's data. AWS Clean Rooms enable the organization to generate unique insights about, for example, their advertising campaigns, investment decisions, clinical research, and more and more use cases while their data remains protective. Now let's have a look at how exactly this looks like in the AWS console. And before that, this is the architectural diagram of AWS Clean Rooms. Now, as you can see on this screen, we, on the left hand side, we have collaborators or companies and there are different parties involved. These could be different organizations or different partners. And all of these collaborating co collaboration members are putting in their data in this clean room in the middle. And this clean room has some tables and some queries which we'll, we will see in subsequent slides. But the idea is that on the left hand side, there are members and all of these members put their data, which is a collective data in the middle in the clean room and from there different insights can be generated on the right hand side it could be quick sight or put in the data warehouse like redshift or you can even use your own third party tools to analyze that data okay that let, uh, let's see it by step by step as how exactly this is configured as a first step we start with the collaborations with the help of aws clean room we can start a collaboration in minutes and then we can select other companies with the help of memberships to invite them to our own account. So in the first screen, we are just giving our collaboration a new name. And then from there, we are inviting different number members. First member is our own organization. So all we need to do is to give the name, for example, in this example, which is from AWS. We are the member display name is airline and then our own account ID. And then on the second member, for example, this is a social media partner. We will be giving their own account ID here and invite them and they need to accept it. And we can add up to three members so far and that might increase in the future with AWS. So once that's done, then we need to um, choose a member who can um who can perform a query in collaboration with the member ability setting and it could be only one so it could be your social media partner or it could be your uh, any other organization partner so once you define that then you um the all the members will receive notification in their own aws account and then from there they would need to enable it once that's done, you will see at the bottom of the screen that member status will turn to active as soon as they accept it, which is great. And then from here, you can uh, also collaborate with other partners without moving your data outside. And when I say outside, it means outside of AWS. So what happens is that AWS Clean Rooms work by analyzing Amazon S3 data in place. This eliminates the need for companies to copy and load their data into destination outside their respective AWS accounts. And they don't even have to put their data into the collaboration members account. 
and each collaboration member can create configure tables uh, and uh, what exactly the configure table it is uh, an AWS Clean Room resource that contains reference to the AWS Glue catalog with underlying data that defines how that data can be used. And then this configure table, which is uh, on the top of that glue thing, the configure table can be used across many collaborations and you don't have to recreate it. And then uh, you can also specify as which table do you want. For example, on this screen, we are using the database and the table name. And then on the second screen, it's up to us that whether we use all columns or just a column list. Okay. And uh, so this offers you a customization and flexibility. Now, once we have this column level privacy, as we just saw, AWS CleanRoom also provides a fine grained query control called analysis rules with built in flexible analysis rules you can tailor queries to specific business needs. And there are two types of an analysis rules. One is called as aggregation analysis, and then we have list analysis. Uh, just a quick difference, aggregation analysis allow queries that aggregate analysis data, whereas the list analysis rule allows you to output user level attribute analysis of the overlap. And both of these analysis type rule allow data owner to require a join between their data set and the data set of the collaborator running the query. So in other simple words, if you have put in your data set and if your members have put in the data set, you can both either aggregate them or list them. And with the help of these queries, you can join these data sets and get the data set of your choice. And this is the example of the query. And as you can see that we are using simple NC query standard where we are doing an inner join on the airline conversion. And from there, we are getting the social media impression. And these queries can be according to your use case. And if you see that it is uh, on the bottom hand side, it is giving us the result of this count, which we just got from this count query on the hash email. Now, once that's done, another example could be that you can restrict the data type as per your uh, column list. As you can see that when we tried to do on this hash, um, hash email, it didn't allow us because we didn't select that column. Then you can enable query logging and this feature allows collaboration member to review and audit the queries that use their data set to make sure data is being used as intended and with query logging the collaboration member who have query control and other members whose data is part of the query can receive logs if they enable the query logging okay and then we have something called as cryptographic computing with this feature you have the option to perform client-side encryption for sensitive data with cryptographic computing. You can encrypt your data set to a protection layer and that the, and the data will use a cryptographic computing protocol called as private set intersection. But there is some um, configuration which needs to be done uh, because if you want to if you want to use this feature, you need to download and use the cryptographic computing for clean room, which is uh, which is another client and which enables you to encrypt and decrypt the data. And this screen shows the configuration around it. I hope this was useful and more and more members are joining this uh, third party ones and they will be out of the box for your collaboration if you want to invite them. So just to summarize, AWS Clean Rooms help companies and organizations and their partners to more easily and securely analyze and collaborate on their collective data sets without sharing or copying each other's data. And one last bit, there is a uh, price attached to it. So whatever compute resources you would be using, you'll be charged for it. I hope this was useful. If you have any comments or feedback, please put them in the comments. Thank you.